and here I am at a show that's all about life. I know. Um, so when I was thinking about this set, originally I thought it was like half an hour, and so I was like, oh, I'll bridge a bridge an hour long show. So I did that, and then it was like 15 minutes. So I was like, I'll bridge a half half an hour abridgement into 15 minutes <laughs> and then um, showed my mate a video that I've been working on um, that demonstrates Matter which is a show that I've been working on and he was like you should definitely show that so then I abridged that into a 10 minute piece so <laughs> um, this is a bit of an experiment I've never shown anyone like of this size <laughs> really or just one person um, <laughs> this video um, and I hope you enjoy it. It's only five minutes long. It just details what I've been working on with regards to light and poetry and bringing technology into that. And then after that, I'll do 10 minutes of from the actual show. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll just like <laughs> <laughs> On feet. Back up straight. Shining like the sun had done her good like her screen was too thick for it to penetrate. Matter is a collaboration between poetry, animation, and sound design that explores the relationship human beings have with light. All light has left. Ransack the dark to find the spark to begin again. When it's something that evokes a very nostalgic sense for anyone who's been in that situation, which is basically when you, when you go into a rave or a club, the, the kind of journey of finding the room that, that fits you and that, that you feel most comfortable in, and almost that, that transition of finding your place is almost like a labyrinth where you're getting allured by these different aspects of light and sound that kind of draw you in to go further into this maze and kind of almost keep you there and keep you wondering where you're going. The anticipation of finding the room that makes you feel at home and that you know, you're really comfortable with. Before time and space, matter and energy were inseparable, and then it exploded into everything as separate from itself. So we basically started with this, this sort of small idea of how light affects the human brain and our way to experience what we experience how our, our brain reacts to those stimulants. I wanted to recreate that experience of different lights coming into your into your retina and then tiny current of ele electricity getting into your brain cells and then brain cell processing and then um, figuring out what that um, actual information is. waves surround sound and I can't see what should be the ground and everything is the same shade of the same but I'm not afraid. I really wanted people to have an interactive experience and be submersed. We didn't want our members to just be audiences. We wanted our audience to participate and become a piece of matter. Time where you go back to a place when you were younger and you really felt that you were connecting with the universe on these bigger scales and starting to understand that you weren't the only one. You draw up and you float up into the sky, following orbs. We have these magical moments as we fly through the galaxy and then it turns into an eye. So it's almost the eye reflecting eye, how we are seeing things, and then we go into ourself and how um, the narrative of the is held in ourself. I no longer trust the stars. Those lights hold the earth beneath them, tilting their arrogant noses and peering down at humanity like we are a small child. Why have we got so much light in the city? What purpose does it serve? The actual design itself is is this kind of city almost bursting up from the, from the ground that has channels of light shooting into it. And it's, you kind of want to represent the fact that it is, the, sea, the sea is kind of continuously drawing energy from, from you 
it from and from surroundings. From far, it will look really small, and then you, as you get closer, you realise that you have an omnipotent view of the city. You have the view of the universe, and using your phone, you'll be able to unlock different parts of the city. See the city as augmented reality, an artificial source of light. I'll make a man-made fire tell me he loves me by glowing for me. And I will love him back. Impulsive. I have no need for the feral lights of the sky. They are aloof and pay no mind to my heat. How they cast shadows at will and spray everything golden to leave. Betraying the promise of permanent day. The moonlight, a pathetic, pointless spotlight that withers in comparison to the infinite power streetlights emit. How what is in their veins? The sun cannot defeat London. and it jumps a lot. It's like waves and particles of light, so it just jumps and sometimes it flows. <laughs> the colour of light at the bottom of the ocean is red. No other colour but red. That's what Miss said Newton said. The spectrum, he said, shows white light to be made up of every other colour, shot through glass then split apart. Rainbows use rain as glass and sun as light. And we learnt that the sun was a star, our star. A mist told us about the solar eclipse, but we couldn't see it because there were clouds and the paper said that there was a poisonous smoke, but I think they didn't want us to see it in real life because it can turn you blind. And some people say it's a portal like Narnia or Northern Lights. I've only seen the Northern Lights online. At home, the sky is purple and bruised like, like our street lights are pummeling the inside of our atmosphere. You only see the really bright stars or the moon or aeroplanes. I make believe that they are shooting stars and wish on them. My sister tells me to stop believing in wishes. She says they don't come true. I'm hoping she's wrong. I'm believing she's wrong. Well, Dar says that magic doesn't exist for people who don't believe in it. Well, I believe in it. I still say the traffic light spell to change the lights from red to green and it works all of the time when I really concentrate and believe in it. It's like it knows when my mind is not focused, when I'm just saying the words and I don't mean them and I have to repeat them with feeling. Because true love does exist. And wishes and spells will work if you believe in them. And I believe in them. And my wish is for Chris to ask me out and then kiss me. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm asking for, universe. <laughs> universe. All I want is for Chris to kiss me. In the beginning of creation, when God made heaven and earth, the earth was about form and void and with darkness over the face of the abyss and a mighty wind that swept over the surface of the waters. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Photons burst forth from the universe. God gives the command. The command happens. Obey God. Don't defy God. Pray to God. Praise God. God made us in his image so we are part of God and he gave us light. Great lights to govern our days and our nights. He gave us John, and in him was life. And life was the light of this man. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God. He came. He took my number. <laughs> <laughs> he is Superman on his belt. 17. Tracksuit Jordans. Red light, moped, dog day heat. This is the world according to John. So John, <laughs> where are you from? Peace, peace, cool, I say. Why is this guy tripping me? He's staring into me like he's the sun on the brightest blue day. I can't help but blink, close eyes open, and his smile, his smile an empty cloud of teeth. Stop, breathe. Me? I'm from here. <laughs> he laughs gaily. He knows his effect. Burning away any coolness I ever had. I can't think quick. Heat wave. I'm feeling faint. I've got to go. Give me a number. No. We'll be friends, he says. You look like you'd be a good friend. His phone thrust into my sweaty palm. I dial my own shadow. This is the point.
point where the sun shines brightest. This is the heat I needed. Every pore in me is open. I'm not trying to close them. He leaves. She melts into, oh my God, what the hell? Rebuilding her form, making sense of her heat. Light bounces off an external object and enters the eye via the pupil. The pupil and iris are responsible for the amount of light that enters the eye, with the iris narrowing and widening around the pupil as appropriate. The cornea works with the lens to refract, change the direction of the light, helping to focus the light onto the retina at the back of the eye. The retina contains millions of photoreceptors called rods and cones which convert light into electrical impulses and send them along the optic nerve and to the brain, providing the brain information to interpret the image that we see. Does this take into account what our brains have been conditioned to perceive? What our minds are taught to do with information? Our realities are imagining subject to an agreed consensus. We learn to follow the rules and any deviation is madness. In between the broad boundaries of coexisting, we create our own rules of perception. He drives, uninsured. <laughs> <laughs> I never wear my seatbelt. He sells weed, I smoke it. He plays hip hop music before, during and after sex. I nod along to it. He has loads of friends in a coded language that is actually a secret language. He isn't even called John. <laughs> <laughs> he is a good deceiver. And so am I. I've met my match, project. We will work on each other. There is no deadline, there never will be. We will never stop plucking and sticking ourselves apart and back together and apart again. Hiding our thoughts behind our blind spots. Never really seeing each other, just being ourselves, our selfish selves. The epitome of what we hold in the shadow of our smiles. Late night, last minute adventures, backseat survival. Me first, flare of words that I can't and not tonight. And yeah, because she's all right, but not my type, honesty that all relationships need. You see, it can be too much if you see everything. So we keep our love hidden. Behind our ears so our mouths wouldn't say what we saw if we ever did see. If we ever did see, we would call it what it's not. Make up our world. Arms, weapons, bodies, shields, kisses, poison, hugs, bombs, laughter, heckles, compliments, curses, takeaways, dates, drop-offs, road trips, presents, nothings. There's nothing to see. No matter. You see, it would be too much if you were to see everything. So at the point where all information is gathered to enter our brain, there are no photoreceptors. There lies a blind spot, a black hole. We cannot see past the event horizon. In uncharted territory, reimagine the gap. I'm so high. I feel John everywhere we are. Diffused into wings, spread, joined, keep flying, keep up, stay cool, save face, be brave, self-control, breathe in control, screen fears behind eyelids, close eyes, pretend not to see them burn, he will never see them, see him, don't stare, trust, he is there. Close eyes to see or lose sight blinded by his brightness wrapped round eyes like tops thrown from bodies to floors to hands to face, face to face, sunspots clear to see here between us. Watch, lust, laugh, let go, throw stars between us, masters of light, of darkness, no need, no stroke, trust, throw heat, I'll catch it, risk it, I need to, to jump, fly, fall, too close, close eyes, mask fate, jump, fly, to be placed on a fancy chair and told that this is what you deserve. Mm. To be strapped in and kissed lightly as glasses slid softly over your skin, barely touching and sunlight. His sunlight is poured and poured until you scream no more, but the heat's so warm without it you can't feel, so you scream more, please, more, falling ever deeper in need, needing to be closer, lifting your body closer to the sun, feeling the burn prickle immortality, so delirious, euphoria pulling you higher and closer and warmer and further from any shadowed earth. Past cowardly clouds who float in limbo, falling to ascend no higher than the sky, up to the sphered ceiling, transparent like glass, separating your existence from the heat, your light from his, and you bang your fist as you witness that this sun has so much more to oversee. The other planets are kept closer, warmer, their position more superior in proximity.
proximity and you scream at the earth's temptation. How it spins its sexy curves just close enough to be touched by the sun's flaming fingers that skim in lust. As loyal, this sun is not. For those arms that belong to those fingers are wrapped tightly round those close to planets. And no matter how high I fly, how exposed I let my skin, how deep I let him sink, I will never be close enough to be the only one for him. John, he was not himself the light. The real light that enlightens was even then coming into the world. The city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light. As simple as that, I relearn. Nothing complicated or fiddly. God gives the command, the command happens. <laughs> Obey God, don't defy God, pray to God, damn God, for God's sake, I am God. Because God made us in her image. So we are gods, and we make lights, great lights to govern our days and our nights. <coughs> Charge in the city, bold proximity, cinemas in a day, restaurants all night, darkness swallowed, no natural light, no fate, switch controlled and it's beautiful. The street lights shine bright so the sky is lit all night. No rest, no respite, no relief, no silence, no stopping. None of that reflective shite, the shite that makes you blind and fly too high from home. Here is where I belong. On an earth that sparkles like a tinsel ball. Where seeing is 24 hour and the universal light is dethroned. Sun tan, sun beds, sundial, clocks, weather, phone app. Everything you ever need to know, iPad, laptop screens, comfort dreams of incessant beats. There's no nothing to be afraid of if you can always see. So I am tripping off this light. Broadway, billboards, trains, tubes, the lights don't flicker like they used to. There are reassuring alarms every few yards. There's no need to stop. We glow in the dark. Man-made stars shoot shadows, no need to sleep anymore. Speeding cars flash lights on bright, indicate that these Days stretch round, everlasting in this electricity, this safe, controlled, electric city. <laughs>